in the previous video we were discussing about ng form directive so what was the problem we faced in the previous video was like in our web page whenever i am updating any field with a value this value is not getting updated here that is a form dot value is not getting updated whenever we update the field so to avoid this problem and to solve this problem we need to make make use of another directive provided by angular that is ng model directive so before using ng model directive first what we'll do is let's change this template reference variable with some other name why because this the name which we provided here the form is similar to the name which the form which we are using here so let's change this variable name to user form okay so previously this user form dot value was not getting updated whenever i am going to update this value in our form for example i am updating it to harsha means this value should get updated here that is user form dot value it was not getting updated so to solve this problem we need to make use of ng model directive which is provided by angular this can be used by importing forms module in app dot module dot ts so in previous video only we have like already imported forms module from angular slash forms so we can directly use ng model directive in this case so what is the use of ng model directive is it will capture the properties and displays the corresponding values for properties whenever we access using user form dot value whenever we use user form dot value it will capture the properties and displays corresponding values for it that's what is required for us in this case so let's do that next uh, suppose like uh, in input tag for each of the inputs which we have taken here in our form we need to update that with ng model directive by using ng model let's do that now so each field each tag input tag let's add ng model at the end okay then here then here for select we need to provide over here ng model okay for text area for password and for the date field let's save these changes let's observe the web page now we can see that the properties are getting populated over here and whenever i am updating this with a value for example here so whatever the field value which we are giving here will get updated to this object this is the ng form object which we had used before okay and this has a reference object reference that is user form ob uh, template object reference using this template reference variable we are going to access by using dot value this will get updated only when we make use of ng model directive okay now i want to do is using data model i want to populate by default all the values of the form data so that whenever we up, whenever we upload or whenever we reload the web page we can see that the form data will get populated automatically a set of default values i want to display on my form we can make use of data model for that case and th this data model is also useful for like whenever i am updating any fields in this form whenever i am updating this fields in this form this object should also get updated accordingly means the whatever the populated values over here from data model whenever we are updating those values should also get updated to the object back to the object that we can achieve by using data model and two way data binding which let's see in the next video thank you so much for watching this video guys please like comment and share this video kindly subscribe to my channel in order to watch more videos